Hello, good evening, my wonderful friends. How are you guys doing? My name is Chooks Ine, and it is time for me to share with you interesting thoughts about our principal, our leader, the incoming president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency Peter Obi. Peter Obi, during his course of uh, mission in the United States of America, he shared with the Nigerians in diaspora the forces that will help in turning around Nigeria. As you recall, P2B has always been saying that the problem of Nigeria is poor leadership. The problem of Nigeria is poor leadership. And P2B said there are four C's that if applied, Nigeria will turn around instantly. And the, the thing I like about him whenever he's sharing these details with us is that he will always say turning around Nigeria is very, very easy. Turning around Nigeria is very, very simple. You know, when things are simplified, when you simplify a process, when you simplify something that is complex, it makes it easier to handle. And that is a sign of someone who is ready to bring about the necessary change that we are craving for in our beloved nation, Nigeria. These forces, let us start with the first one. P2B talks about competence. Competence. When they say somebody is competent, in handling something someone is competent in solving a problem someone is competent in handling an issue or handling a project that means that the person is qualified that means that the person knows what to do and how to do it competency is important and p2b always exemplifies the way the nigerian leadership is the crisis in the nigerian leadership sector to be that we often hire um, a driver to fly an aircraft or sometimes we just hire someone who doesn't know his east his west from his the south or the north from the uh, central to rule the country and that is one mistake we always make and he talks about competence p2b as a competent person is qualified to be the driver that will handle that vehicle competency is an important attribute of a leader and in the case of nigeria considering the the, the stage we are in now i know someone once described that yes it was samuel autumn that said nigeria is in coma and is already uh, in oxygen and taking drip and so if nigeria has been described to be in such a situation that means that we cannot be looking for a quack doctor to come and rescue nigeria or to administer treatment to the Nigerian system or the economy. The other C that P2B identified, you know, amongst the four Cs is credibility. Credibility has to do with integrity. It has to do with the honesty of that person. Nigerian leaders have been described by P2B to be political bandits. And he said, P2B also said that what is happening in our political realm is worse than organized crime. These political bandits have hijacked the system. You can imagine who a bandit is. A bandit is someone that stays on the highway, uh, inflicts pain and terror on people and steals their belongings. These political bandits don't care about the Nigerian people. All they know is what they will loot and what they will steal and build big mansions for themselves, buy big cars for themselves, send their children abroad to school, why they themselves also travel abroad left and right enjoying life whereas the poor masses are suffering these are people that are not credible in any way most of the people that he's competing with are not credible for example uh Obasanjo described atiku as someone who is corrupt and wanted by the american government and that even his own accomplice who was a senator in the american congress was jailed in america Atiku uh, has been uh, described by our passenger as one of his regrets in life when he was president. If he knew, he would not have chosen Atiku. So Atiku lacks that credibility as far as Obasanjo's opinion are concerned. We hear cases of Bullion Van going into the compound of Bola Tinubu. This is not a sign of someone that is credible. We hear how he takes huge pensions and many properties, choice properties that belongs to the people or government or the, in Lagos are now his. And even up to date, how the whole family is in the political system and structure. 
just for what they will get. The credibility, the credibility of these two people are in question. And that way you can know the credibility of someone is their certificates, their academic certificates is also a sign. These people have said they cannot lay hands on their certificates. Imagine if someone goes for a job interview and you have someone with WIAC and one with a master's uh, degree, who will you hire to run the system? Going to school is not a waste of time. And so if you go to school, there must be evidence that you have gone to school. The credibility of these people are in doubt. But that credibility that belongs to Kutobi is there for all to see, for all to go and verify. The other thing that P2B referred to has to do with capacity. Capacity is very, very important in whatever you do. What are the things that enables you to be able to do it? Do you even have the physical strength to take on the rigors of the presidency? Being the president of Nigeria requires energy to do because there are a lot of activities, mental calculations. It requires you to think fast and on your toes. It's not something you say, eh, eh, or you are because of one uh, mental disease or one sickness or the other, you're not even able to articulate. And then why people voted you into power, and a new Kaba will not hijack the presidency again. So sometimes we don't know whether it is the president speaking or the presidency. Capacity is very, very important. Someone that does not have the capacity is naturally incapacitated. If there are signs that you're incapacitated when you cannot even jog or walk well or when you need support in everything you do or when your hands are shaking or you, can, you are not even coherent in speech. Age is one of the things that can dull a man or incapacitate a man. Yes, the lifespan of Nigerians is 50-something years. That of the Americans is way much higher. And so sometimes when people compare what of uh, Joe Biden, was he not an old man? An old man in America is not the same thing with an old man in Nigeria. Just like a young man here is not the same thing with a young man there. Their life and everything about that side is different. Capacity is very, very important in leadership. And capacity also entails those around you, those you surround yourself with. What are they, what are they bringing to the table? What is it that they have upstairs? And so the capacity of P2B is not in doubt. P2B has a rich credential of what he has been able to accomplish in life and his network is outstanding that it will be easier for him to bring these people on board for them to move the Nigerian project forward. Instead of arranging criminals and looters around you, political winches and wizards around you to come and siphon Nigeria and blind us the mob. And the final C that P2B mentioned is commitment. Commitment is the ability to make sure th that whatever you have set out to do, against all odds, you accomplish that thing, you know. And commitment is not an easy thing because there comes a time when there will be trials. There comes a time when there will be temptations. There comes a time when there will be a lot of influences trying to derail you from the main duty that you owe to the people that voted you to power. That is the time you show commitment to the cause, you show commitment to the constitution of Nigeria that nothing will change, nothing will change the idea, the original idea upon which you were predicated and you relayed your agenda to the people who voted for you. Commitment is an important aspect of leadership. When you promise something, you fulfill it. We have seen that the APC have made a lot of promises in the time past, especially with Bola Metinubu, who championed the movement of Buhari and bringing Buhari in there, that Buhari is the Messiah that we have been crying for, and that all these changes are going to be actualized, that uh, one Naira will be one dollar, uh, Asu will not suffer strike again, petrol will reduce, Every the undergraduates, will, unemployed Nigerians will be given 5,000 Naira, all those promises by the APC was far, 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 story upon story. They don't show any commitment. They, don't, they think that they can just come and talk to us anyhow and expect us to buy into that propaganda and rubbish that they are selling to us. And then when they enter there, they do anything they like. And that is the reason why P2B is telling us that commitment is a key thing to turn around Nigeria. I have no doubt whatsoever in my mind and in my heart that the man P2B, with these forces that he has enunciated and articulated, 
you will be able to transform Nigeria and turn it around completely. That every citizen of this nation will once again be proud that they are Nigerians and that Nigeria is our home and we can enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching. I will come back again to continue my live stream. Please share this video to support my efforts. God bless you guys. Bye-bye.